all that tears away in that family in Jesus' name. Amen. In even the country, Nigeria, making sure that, oh, there's a lot of chaos and manipulation by the power that be, manipulation by the power that be. The Lord we ask by the precious name of the Lord Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit that you will literally Amen. have way concerning this country. Devil Amen. does this country. Demons does not hold this country. This country is owned by you. The scripture said this morning, as I read, the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. You created Nigeria. Yes, we got colonized by the British uh, uh, this or whatever, but there you created all men and all things. Mm -hmm. Father, I pray and I ask, your agenda for Nigeria will not be truncated by the children of the bond women, uh, mm -hmm. bond women name of jesus christ yeah. your, your purpose will not be truncated will not be dashed by the children oh god of the bond woman who are bent on ruling by crook by whatever method or by whatever ways it will not stand in jesus name amen the of the lord shall stand only the will of the Lord shall stand. Only the purpose of the Lord shall stand in our lives, in our families, in our church, and in our nation. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Father, Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. So we want to go before the Lord this morning. And begin to give thanks unto God. We give you glory, Lord, as we all bless you, you bless your name. We give you thanks for the things you have done. We slack unto you, O Lord. Among the God, like unto thee. Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah. But I go now we worship you. My Lord King of God, bless you. O Lord, we now offense you. We say glory and honor. We thank you to your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the great things we do in our lives. We adore your name, O Lord, because of the I am that I am, the beginning and the end. We adore your name, our love, every day after day, time after time. We thank you for that which is happening. We exalt your name, O Lord. We worship your name, O Lord. We say glory, honor, the Lord. Thank you, bless your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, I just thank you. I just thank you. I just thank you. I just thank you. For Amen. I want to thank the Lord for families that have been prayed for, and the Lord answered and restored. His sister mm -hmm. uh, dropped a prayer point uh for us some time ago and uh, we know her very well i know her because i used to chat with her one on one she would chat me up she would tell me things and all of that she even connected yesterday i don't know if she's online now let me check okay no. she's not. and uh, you know telling me about how the husband had been going this and doing that and all in fact the adulterous life and all of that but eventually it's like of course god is doing something you know god has a way of caging people and they're uh, touching people and changing people for some he may allow something to happen to them and they will come to their senses and wonder mm. how they living a reckless life so the wife was telling me some things and that's an evidence that God is answering prayers. It's not everybody that will have the opportunity to chat us up and tell us what God is doing as we are praying on the platform. But as we have learned in scripture, that prayer is a great weapon, a very powerful weapon. And we communicate to God or with God rather through prayer. And so we must not be discouraged because I understand that God answers prayer. And I also understand that many lives have been touched and transformed through this platform. And so whether they come physically to say thank you or to share uh, with us directly, 
we know that God answers prayer. Not everybody will want to know or will even know that there are people praying for them. Many have never joined this platform uh, to pray, but they are on the platform there, and we pray for them sometime too. And they will not know that the intervention in their lives as a result of people praying for them somewhere. And you know God. God is a wonderful God. Is going to reward the people who agonize and who intercede and who stand in the gap for those people. That's how God yeah. operates. So mm. we must discourage, we must keep praying for people. One of the greatest ways to show that you love someone is to pray. That's why the devil will always want you to have issue with your wife or your husband so that you will not pray for him or her. And once the prayer is not coming from the husband to the wife or the wife to the husband, there's bound to be chaos. There's bound to be something. And then before you know it, the enemy out there will catch up with the person. That's why the devil does not like unity. Even on this platform now, the devil will do everything and make sure that even the pastors and leaders are not united at a point so that the rancors can begin to come in and they, because the devil hates unity, he hates oneness. He mm. hates one, he hates it with passion. passion. He understands that uh, oneness can scatter his kingdom very easily. And so, for who understand the devil, who understand his tactics and his uh, strategy and all that, they will not give to him. And that's why what is so Ephesians chapter 4 in verse 27. The Bible says, neither give place to the devil, as you see now, so we must not give place to it. We want to go before God this morning as we'll be praying for our family, and they will be begging God very strongly for our family. And we trust the Lord that the God of heaven is going to literally intervene in our family. Amen. Whatever thing that looks very ugly in your family, God will intervene. Whatever that looks like the hand of Satan, works of Satan, as we agree in prayer this morning, God will crush those things and destroy them in Jesus' name. We want to go before him now. We want to examine him ourselves so that there are no barriers to our prayer. And say, Father, examine, check in my life, check in my attitude, check in my behavior, check in my disposition. Are there stain? Are there blemish? Are there spots? Are there wrinkles? Are there impediments? Are there things, oh God, that ought not to be? And they are in my heart. And Lord Jesus, and the devil is capitalizing on that. And as a result, my prayer has no wing to ascend to heaven. Oh God, purge my heart and cleanse my heart. Purge my heart and purify my heart. Make my heart pure and make my heart holy. Make my heart clean and make my heart righteous. Let there be cleansing. Let there be purging. Let there be purification. In the name of Jesus Christ, please let's talk to God in prayer. Let's pray and talk to God in prayer. Let's talk to God in prayer. Let's talk to God in prayer. Let's ask the Lord for cleansing. 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 Yes, cleansing by the blood. Cleansing by the blood. Cleansing by the blood, cleansing by the blood, cleansing by the blood, cleansing by the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ, please pray that the Lord will cleanse, the Lord will purge, the Lord will purify. Purify, Lord, purify until my heart, pure heart, then go. Purify, Lord, purify until my heart, pure heart and God. Purify, Lord, purify. Okay. God. We are doing it not like on today, but thank you for your, the ability to answer prayer. 
You have told us if we can pray, you can answer. And Lord, we have been seeing that in our lives. We worship you, Lord. We thank you for the family that have been attended to in this platform, that their prayers have been answered. We worship and bless your name to be the exalted, O oh Lord, in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. And now, at this time, we are going to really pray and we are going to tell the Lord, now, what do we want to do this morning? We want to make sure we seal up all the crack. And so that's why we'll be very intentional about the prayer we'll be praying this morning. There are little, little termites. And so I read from Sons of Solomon, chapter 2, in verse 15. So we want to pray against little, little termites destroying the family, destroying the family. Little, little termites, not big termites, just little, little. But yet they have the ability to destroy. In Sons of Solomon chapter 2, verse 15, take us the forces, the little forces that spoil the vine. Our little vines have tender graves. It talks about little forces there. And then see what we are told in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, this is how the scripture put it in 1 Corinthians. In that chapter 6 of 1 Corinthians, no, sorry, chapter 5 of 1 Corinthians, verse 6. Chapter 5, verse 6. Your glory is not good. Know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth the old law, a little leaven. Yes, sometimes what causes the, the misunderstanding and depression and the rare is the way the man probably handled the woman, even probably in the bedroom, or the way the woman handled the man, probably in the bedroom. And sometimes it could be the way the talk had done some ash or selfish kind of thing. I hope that there are no children on the platform, please. This is supposed to be for adults now. Uh, the marriage, our marriage on Monday, please, uh, I will wish no child join because uh, there's no need for me to cover up the way I'll be talking. And there are language that we cannot be using while children are with us and all that. So please, I will, I will increase our indulgence that it's not every of our prayer meeting, the children should be around uh, oh, to yeah. join because of the, the way I lead and all of that. And uh, sometimes the problem with many of the leaders and all of that, they don't want to present the way the things is. Do you know that even sex of a thing and all of that can cause a very serious problem? In fact, it has been said, I was reading a book on the issue for, that's for couple now, uh, written by my my by my by my director, my place of work, and uh, she is a Christian, a very strong one, and then uh, she wrote this book on the uh, how to improve your sex life and all of that as couple and all that. And as I read through that book, I I began to see a lot of issues that causes problem in family. As a matter of fact, you have realized that if the sex life of a couple is not really in order what happened? What you will discover is that even their work life will be affected. And I speak the truth in Christ, I lie not. I'm not talking about this boyfriend, girlfriend. I'm talking of people who are married. I'm no, talking of no. people who are married and they are Christian. Their work life will be affected. Sometimes you find some men, they will be soliloquizing on the road as if they are mad. They are not mad though. It's the problem at home. It's the issue at home. And then sometimes before you know it, other things, and you find some women, they are just emaciating. And then you are wondering, why is this woman going late? And she's eating, oh, she's eating, oh. She's eating, food is not the problem, oh. But because of too much thinking, probably how, you know what it means for a man to be having an affair with a woman, and then the woman can never experience uh, maybe orgasm. She can't even remember at any point in her life when she reached her orgasm. And know that the man will just satisfy himself and just run away, being selfish. You'll find selfishness even in the bedroom. Serious one for that matter. And then you find, and these are Christians, the so to say, these are church people. They don't even care how the spouse feel, how the other one feel, how the other one feel. And they, they tell you, oh, is that, uh, is that compulsory? Is that all right? Is that day? Because they have not been taught properly, because they have not learned properly. And you find a lot of problems. You are wondering, this home is supposed to be a Christian home. Why all these things? 
by the time you diagnose very deeply, the woman is not satisfied or the man is not satisfied. And that's why we're told now. And that's why I'll be very, very wrong with the way I've been leading us. The scriptures say your glory is not good. Know ye not that a little level, that selfishness in the bedroom, a little level, that man now just jumping on the wall, jumping on the woman, all of that. And then you don't even care. You don't, she can't ever remember when she enjoy anything. And then you just a little level. And she's unhappy, she's even complaining, and you will not even listen. You even tell me to be a kind of woman for complaining, for telling you that only you are not doing it the right, and all of that. And you say, come on, you are kind of, and all of that. And the woman is that point. She's depressed, totally depressed. And then scripture is saying here this morning, your glory is not good. No, you know, that a little level, level the old love, don't you know that a little yeast can pervade the old life and destroy the family? Verse 7, purge it out. Purge out therefore the old level, that ye may be a new love, even as ye are on level. For Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for all. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old level, not the old style. After this morning, after we have prayed, and you discover you are guilty as a person, what you expected is to repent and turn away. He said, we should not keep the feast uh, with an old level, but rather, with the level, uh, neither with the level of malice. And then you begin to keep money and say, okay, and because this woman did not give me a body and all of that, I will keep money. No, you can't do that. For heaven's sake, you can't keep malice. For heaven's sake, you cannot keep malice. Or you now begin to be wicked against your husband. Like the way you find some women. Actually, those women don't know that there is even wickedness. They will go and wear one thing very tight so that the man will not have access and all that. Very, and it's a way of paying back. Oh, they want to pay back, actually. And then they'll say, you sure you come and meet me? And then they'll put on something. That is a level of wickedness. And they keep doing it one week, two weeks, three weeks, like that, to punish the man. Actually, you are not only punishing the man, you are punishing yourself. And if you die in that condition, that's hellfire. Oh. There's nothing like I'm a woman leader, I'm a, I'm a preacher. No, there's no preacher there. You are a wicked fellow. You are a wicked person. The scripture yeah. says, depart not thyself. Scripture will be used against us to, to judge us on the final day. But look at mm -hmm. it now. But with the unlevel bread of sincerity and truth, that's where we're going. Sincerity and truth. Sincerity and truth. We want to go before the Lord now. Let the Lord purge every home. Let the Lord cleanse every home of little forces, of little forces. Oh God, cleanse every home of little forces, all the little forces that have crept into our own, all the little forces that have crept into our own, all the little forces, all the little wicked, all the little forces, all the little envy, all the little our hopes this morning to pray for the to cleanse every one of them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our hope. Talking to God. You asking the Lord. Are you pleading before? Oh Lord, God, we pray this morning to cleanse them total. Father, for me, oh Lord, this morning, for me, for me, for me, for me, for me, for me, for Every little bit of a little bit of a little bit of 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 a of of that a man can be envious of his wife. How can that be? For, for, for on heaven's sake, for heaven's sake. And you find the man envious of the wife. Maybe the wife is any more than him. Or it is a man now, it is a woman now envious of the man. And then before you know it, she says something out of envy. And the man replied, Honey, how could you say that? And then by the time you diagnose properly why she say what she's, uh, why? She uttered what she uttered. Then you realize that it's as a result of envy. And these are Christian homes, so to say. These are Christian homes. I mean, mature Christian homes, so to say. And yet you find this problem or this virus called envy. 
want to pray that God will purge us of the virus called envy and jealousy. Virus mm -hmm. called envy and jealousy, let the Lord cleanse and purge. Envy can deny us of getting to heaven. Envy can deny us of getting to heaven. I repeat, envy and jealousy can deny us the entrance to the Beulah land, to the land beyond the sky. Let's pray. Heaven is a holy place. We with glory and praise. Mercy, glory. Morning that every spirit of envy in our lives, in our families, Father, take away from us, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, you say we should let this mind be in us, which also was in Christ Jesus. Oh Lord, the mind of love was what Christ had. The mind of sacrifice was what Christ had. The mind of giving was what Christ had. Oh Lord, the, the mind of every was never in Christ. Father, this morning we pray that you will watch us, put us from every on one earth. Jesus, Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I want to pray and solve this problem, another problem, anger. Anger. Anger on the part of the man. Anger on the part of the woman. Actually, all these things are as a result of unsanctified life. Unsanctified life. Life not totally rooted in God. Life not totally embedded in But unfortunately... We even hear pastors, and, ah, my God, my God, my God, my God. I want to pray and say, Father, you will cure the, the virus of anger in our family. Anger have destroyed some family totally. The woman will just be angry like this and throw things anyhow and pack a load and go. She will not even think, oh, it's later she will not realize what kind of decision is this. But maybe it's too late for her to come back. And then it could be the man. The man would just say, I'm, I'm leaving the house. He, he's not even thinking that this woman, I've married this woman for years. We're having children. And then we're living in peace and all that. It, this is just a misunderstanding. Let's resolve it. But we just, all we just say, let me go to another woman in hotel and all that. And then we just be there for days and, and like that, like that. And then before you know, you come back with gonorrhea or come, come back with syphilis or come back with one deadly disease and come and pass it to the wife and pass it to the family. What a deadly life. What a dangerous life. We want to pray like Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Lord deliver our family from anger. Anger cannot produce the righteousness of God. If you have a problem with anger, let the Lord deliver you. I posted on Facebook and I said, <coughs> as a single, you cannot control yourself. What makes you, what makes you think that if you marry, you will still be able to control yourself? No. People who are adulterous in, a, in, a, in character and behavior, some of them have been like that before they got married. It wasn't married that made them to become adulterous. Please, let's get that clear. There are people who have been adulterous all their life. They have been adulterous. They are immoral. They are licentious. They are promiscuous. They are immoral in every regard, in every respect. So marriage does not really cure, as such, adultery life. It's only Jesus that cures adulterous life. Only yeah. Jesus, only the blood of Jesus cures it. It's not married. There are many people in the church, in the church, so to say. They go to church, oh, not that they don't go to church. They hear the word of God, not that they don't hear, oh, and yet they still keep a woman outside or keep a man outside. What, what a lie, what a lie, what a double standard lie. Well, it's because they are not born again. It's because they are not saved. It's because they are not saved. Their names are not in the book of life. They are strangers to the commonwealth of Israel. They are children of Belia. They do not know the law. Let's pray. God will deliver our own from anger. Please, are we praying, talking to God in prayer? Father, we call before your throne this morning. Father, we are praying that you deliver us from anger, that sort of anger that can make you act before you think. Father, take away from our homes, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that you give us a Christian home. Oh, Lord, we pray that you give us a Christian home. Oh, where your love is number one, where you are number one, when God is number one, where everything that is done is done in love, not in anger, not, 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 not in any form that does not glorify you. Oh, Lord, help us to have a home. 
In Jesus' name, amen. I was, I was telling my wife yesterday, well, I was watching a movie and later she joined me. And then uh, the, the title of the movie actually is called Book by Boya, uh, part one uh, yeah, last week. And then part two, I was watching it yesterday. And in that, in that movie, I had always said that, I had always said this. So it's not as if the movie is totally strange to me because me, I've always understood that that is not every area you listen to your wife. There are areas you listen to your wife, you can run into trouble and plunge your family into destruction if girl is not taken. Why? Because they can give a suggestion out of emotion and all that, and it's not scriptural. And if you are the type that is saying, I don't want to offend my wife, I want to always do what my wife will tell me, you will land in trouble before you know it. And so you find this man who started a ministry and he was doing well in the ministry. Uh, no, so he wasn't doing well in the ministry, but he was a genuine man of God, has authority and all that, but things were not going fine. Things were not going fine, I mean, financially now. The members will not give offering, they will not give offering at all. You can imagine coming home with 75 naira offering or is it tight or whatever. I think it, it was that poor, it was that. So they practically live in abject poverty at home, yet it's a man of God. And the man did not know his time of breakthrough was very near until he went out and saw another uh, friend who was riding Jeep. And he saw that that one, uh -uh, until he followed that one. And that one knew him that he has been in the ministry for long. How come you have not made it and all that? And that's how. And what made him to even join that one was because of the nagging of the wife at home. The nagging. I mean, I cannot dare. This one, oh, do you think God really even call yourself? If God call you, and the woman began to doubt the ministry of her husband and began to see all kinds of things because of the present problem and challenges. There are wives like that. There are women like that. I want to pray for our wives that the devil will not invade the life of our wife. Please, Pastor, like I like us to pray this prayer. Devil will not invade the life of your wife, your own wife in particular. I will pray for my own wife. God will not That's allow Satan to speak to your wife, thereby destroy the family. In the name of Jesus Christ, your wife will be discerning. To the point of using her own way or selfishness to destroy your blessings that are supposed to be upon the family. Oh Lord, in heaven, I pray that you uphold my wife. You have been doing well with her. She's been doing great in the home and with the children. Father, we pray that you protect her, oh Lord, from the attack of the evil one. Father, protect her, oh Lord, from the attack of the evil one. Father, keep her free from all evil. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, your grace will abide upon her. Your power, oh Lord, God will dwell richly upon her. The devil will not borrow her to use, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we pray that you, you lay your hand upon her, oh Lord, as you continue in to Jesus, bless her. We pray. And oh Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. I want to pray for Pastor Matthew. Uh, when you look at that man I was telling you about in that movie, the man became frustrated because uh, the wife was kept on giving wrong advice. But unfortunately, his wife died in that movie because the second ritual, he, because he had already joined the bad uh, association, the second ritual he was to do, and they don't marry. He didn't know that they don't marry, so they have to use the wife. Because he brought a wrong minister to his pulpit, a devilish minister. Now one began to say something. And by the time that minister left the pulpit and left the place, calamity began to uh, descend on the member of the church. They will be calling their pastor. Uh, uh, my daughter have died though. My daughter is in the hospital. That one, that one, that one. Ah, ah. This man began to wonder, where, where did I miss it? He was a true servant of God, not knowing he had joined himself to him for no wonder scripture says that if we might join himself to idol, leave him alone. So this man went to join himself to idol, and he was abandoned by God. Eventually, that wife that canceled, and they gave one cancer, 
died in that movie because they have to sacrifice her for, her, for the man to have power for the ministry to move. I'm sure that's what some people do to run ministry, using juju power, demonic power, or clean power, and the rest. We want to pray for all our pastors and leaders in ministry that every frustration in the name of Jesus, the Lord will destroy it and take away. In the 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 process of being tempted, they will not yield to temptation in the name of popularity. None of our pastors yield to temptation. Going the negative way, going the way. Thank you, Lord, to your hands. How will they get to if they go in that way? How will they get to heaven? How will they get to the Bula land? You should protect them from the wicked one that they will not get into any evil, O oh Lord, because of wanting power or wanting popularity in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, we lift all Pastor Matthew Lord into your hand. Lord, we pray that you will so help him, O oh Lord, in the area of his wife. Father, we pray that you will help him and bring that woman to her knee, O oh Lord. So as you surrender to your lordship once again in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to pray for him, Pastor Matthew, and tell the Lord that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, all the things that are deep concern in his heart, deep concern, when you have a wife or husband that is not supportive, it can lead to even an untimely death. How? Let me explain. There is what we call emotional trauma. Trauma. When you go to the hospital and the doc doctor diagnoses and all of that, the doctor will tell you that, oh God, you too, they think, oh, no, they think too much and all that. You know what doctor will do? Doctor will not prescribe drugs for you to stop. Uh, they will only tell you stop thinking. Have you realized that? Because there is no drug for you to stop thinking now. You must think. And uh, but because you must think, some of the thinking that people do is not really thinking. It's actually worry and anxiety. And what worry and anxiety does, what, what both of them, what they actually do to people is that they drain people. They drain people. They drain them. I say, even if they are eating well, it, it will drain your energy. It will sap your energy. And then so you can find a man, even a man of God like they, looking unhappy, looking soulful, and looking as in, you just wonder, you can tell that there's stress written all over that man, all over that woman, because of the home, because of the home. That's why we want to cry to God from the depth of our heart that God will settle his own. God will settle everything Whatever the devil is trying to do to frustrate him in this angle, let it be buried now in the name of Jesus Christ. The devil will not capture his uh, God's servant. The devil will not capture God's servant. The devil will not capture God's servant. The devil will not capture God's servant. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, we lift up your servant, Pastor Matthew Lord, into your hands. Lord, we are praying that everything the, every, the wicked one has done to continue to frustrate him, to continue to make him unhappy. Father in heaven, we pray that you destroy the work of devil in his life, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, destroy the works of the wicked one. Father God, destroy the works of the wicked one. And in Jesus' the life of the name, name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm still going to leave uh, for the next. Uh, okay, I'll so stop. I want to pray in our home, the God of heaven will supply. We have prayed for all the various things now. We have touched all the little forces that has spoiled the vine. It's good now that we now plant, we now build. It is not only praying that God remove all the negativity. God has done that. After removing the negativity, then what will he replace it with? We are going to pray that there will be love in our home. I mean, deep love. I pray this prayer a lot with my, in fact, I, there is this way I used to pray. I will tell my wife, okay, the love that cannot be broken, that means strong call that cannot be broken. 
I mean, a kind of deep love that you are almost waiting for your husband, waiting for your wife out there. You just wish you were at home. You call each other. And then only are you, whether you are married for 30 years, 35 years, or 40, or whatever, that love is still burning. When you were in courtship, you remember how you always want to call if there was no, there was no phone that time. Maybe for you, maybe you remember you write a letter, how you belonging, you see him or see her and all that. But what the devil does is that he wants to make sure those love, they fade away. And then, you know, for a whole day, for the whole day, two day, three day, you don't even think, or you don't even imagine, you don't even think anything about your spouse whatsoever. That's not, and that's not how it ought to be. We want to pray God, we plant a very deep love in our heart for our wife. Deep love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very, deep, very deep we are mm -hmm. driving we are thinking of them on the road in the church everywhere oh god in heaven baptize my heart with love for my wife baptize my heart let my heart be saturated let my heart be filled my heart will not be filled with strangers my heart will not be filled with the daughters of belia my heart will not be filled with the daughters of Babylon. My heart will not be filled with children who are meant to go to hell. My heart will be filled for love of my wife. Oh God. Ask, oh Lord, with the love of my spouse. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, the grace to love my wife. Amen. Oh Lord, Jesus. Amen. We are going to pray. We are praying for love. I hope you know that love is, is very powerful and is key. But if there's no money in the family, eh, love can become dry. Oh, let's say, let's call the spade a spade. And let's say the truth ourselves. If there is no money in the family, no food, nothing whatsoever, even that love can become another thing, except <laughs> those people are really, really Christian and sanctified and they are living the real Christian life. That's why I want to beg God for money. I we were in a meeting some time ago and they, was in the meeting, okay, it was a WhatsApp uh, discussion. And one of our leaders uh, is someone that God is using mightily. I was trying to even invite him to come and handle us one of these because he's into marriage and all of that. He's a leader in deeper life. And he made, and he said something in that meeting, and it's true, very correct, very correct. Uh, let me paraphrase what he said. He was talking of the power of um, a lot or money, something like that, and all that. That you can just imagine, let me paraphrase now, you just give your wife 100K, he didn't ask for it. <laughs> just give her 100K, just uh, only take this one. Uh, I believe there are no children online, like I said. And then that woman can even become wet right there, wet. Just, you are not, you didn't touch her, you didn't do anything. Why? Because everybody has what we call love language, love language. Uh, there's a book like that, love language. So some women, they are Christian, you know, but their love language, you, once you touch that love language like this, bam, without touching them, they are already in the mood. They are ready for you. All this one that says, my wife is not, maybe you have not touched that love language aspect. Or maybe as a woman, don't touch the husband's love language and all of that. And these are things we need to learn. That we are in holiness church does not mean that we shouldn't let this basic thing that keep their own. This is a thing they teach people in some other place here, and, and they are keeping their home. And then you find holiness church, no romance, no love, no kissing, no hugging. I, I hug a lot. I hug my wife a lot, a lot, a lot. I still did that yesterday. Sometimes we just call her, uh, dear come. <laughs> I will just hug her, leave her. I will just, just like that. And then I will touch her forehead. Just do it, touch her head, save her head, and just rub my hand on her head and all of Those things, they go a long way. It doesn't have to be until you enter her or whatever. Doing the touching, be a romantic husband. That we are spiritual should not make us dry like a dry wood. No, no. That's what's making some oh very boring and very boring. And then you find the woman to be watching television just to keep herself busy because it's not that she has a boring husband or a boring man or a boring woman or whatever. No! Let there be spiritual lubricant and the, the love lubricant in our home. I pray all the dryness in any way the God of heaven will yank them off in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to stop here. Father, 
we give you all the glory, honor, adoration, and praise. We exalt you for the revelation this morning. I pray, oh Lord, that you will restore our home where there have been selfishness, where there have been uh, envy and jealousy. We are seeing this morning that envy and jealousy, there that can destroy a home where there have been jealousy and envy, oh God. Destroy it in our family in Jesus' name. Amen. Where they have been nagging. The woman will just be nagging and nagging and nagging, thereby sending her husband away. And the man will just be nagging and nagging, always complaining. All those spirits of anger, I command you, get out of our home in Jesus' name. Amen. Make your home a peaceful home. There will be tranquility and quietness in our home in Jesus' name. Father, Amen. we pray. Our Lord, all our men, all our brothers, all our pastors, all our leaders, as many, oh God, who are not really, really where they ought to be in their own. Lord, we pray you be all the necessary low breakers in our lives so that our own can be an inviting home. Our own can be a circulating home. Our own can be an exciting home. Our own can become a model to young people. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I want to apologize for missing the this afternoon prayer meeting. I have to go with your daughter to prepare for a program. Uh, and then you, she just visit with a friend that, that we have no choice. So I'm very sorry for that. God will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. I Amen. want to appreciate Pastor Yomi. Uh, uh, this is part of what I've been telling him that you need to be go call to what is causing problem at home and this is it this is it i appreciate sister esther to be online and i believe that if pastor you may can be going like this i told her this is a ministry many people have been looking for if, if we see time you look at the program of pastor imoru uh pastor peter can know what i'm saying in yes, every wednesday on w uh, on the akoka group what yes, time sir. in the morning on Wednesday? Yes, six to nine. Six to nine. And yes, what sir. happens? The place pool. The place pool. Because people know that they are going to benefit from the program. And the programmer, the convener of the program, always prepare for them. Always for them. In fact, they are, the, the time he was with me here in the United States, I saw somebody, because I put it online, the person was writing me seriously. To influence him to cut up to him. So I don't think the damn time matter most. Uh, if we can continue like this, and then by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. Yeah, uh, one of the things I see, apart from what Pastor Yomi taught, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, the Bible let us know that to enter the kingdom of God is very challenging. I'm telling you. Because if you have challenges in home, you sit down, many times you will even ask yourself, what test do you need to do? What test do you need to do? Uh, because uh, when, uh, uh, when uh, the Bible let us know that uh, can two work together if they don't know how to work. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, but when you are a Christian, you keep establishing yourself. What is? What is? What is? Until sometimes the woman or the man will not be put to the wall. I just need to realize. I've been in the situation that uh, our leader told me, you are, you are foolish a little bit. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So I'm not trying to praise myself. You know, many times some of our scholars is not the ear, but I, I won't deceive you. I will make it tell me, but Pastor, you too, you are too, uh, you know, to to Jesus. I'm serious. I'm serious. Why? Because of let this one go, let this one go, let this one go, until things spread, and then it is uncontrollable. But that one not is not the matter. Can two work together without the agree? So many of our brethren, they don't have the enough salvation. They don't have salvation. I don't why I don't know why I put enough. 
maybe enough i want to compare it to the marriage don't have salvation because if you have salvation you will have, you will know bible many people wait because of security that i know this man has money i know this man has a house i know this man has fridge i know this man has this and as a result of that that's why they go to that marriage so immediately all those things faded the love faded Many of us, we work because the sister is a Christian. Because the sister, and that, that's why you see, uh, many of them, yes, the, the church allow it. Before they marry you, they will say, okay, let me go and check your house. Yes, the pastor preached in favor of it that the, the women should go. They, but many of them purposely, they want a, a what they want a husband that has that thing, not, not that they love that husband, but they love what they want to see in the house. So by the time they get there and everything started fading, they, they, after all, there's no love there. The marriage started scattering. And the devil is using that a lot in the marriage room, including the pastors. Many are suffering. Many are suffering. Then, but many have realized their mistake. Now to come back out of it, especially in a, in a church like our own, become a problem. Become a problem. But uh, yeah, the Bible says there's nothing God cannot do. And many times that's uh, uh, what many, many, many people, somebody like me, depend upon. God, yes, if you say this word, that there's nothing cannot do. Why we some of everyone that is going through that uh, challenges and they are calling upon you, why is it difficult to be done? Mm. So I, I, I saw that Pastor Peter want to speak, but I will lead you so that we, in your prayer you can put it there. Whatever you need for those people who are going through that, we call upon the name of the Lord. Father, why there's no genuine salvation? Why there's competition, as Pastor uh, Omele was so, it said. You know, you call your spouse, this is what I want to do. And you, your spouse now look at it that, oh, you are very smart. People will be asking me, say, we have to run, we have been staying together for long. Especially a lot of other people that we come to, we are in advanced country. And the mother-in-law will be asking your wife, if your husband do this, like the husband and wife, they are not from the same town. The husband is doing something at his own town. The wife, the, the, the mother and the law, the, the wife, the, the, the wife, so, so, uh, so have the grace to the extent that he forgot that they are one plus one of the marriage is one. Or the husband that forget that one plus one of the marriage is one. And then the mother in law, or the in law will not call. Are you foolish? What about something happen? What is going to happen? <laughs> what is going to happen? That you are calling the your the, the spouses, and they you know some of them that calling their spouses, they never call the other spouses of other children. Like they have they have they have a son, and that son have a wife. They never call and that marry them. They never call the wife of that particular person and say, ah, my oh, my wife my my son is building is doing this is riding this. Is riding. You are you foolish. Won't you, you, why are you going to be smart that you will ask the same thing with my son? A lot of things is going on in the marriage. But when things happen, I only want to avoid being selfish, like Pastor Yomi said. Then another thing, you know, many of us, we come from a, a very conservative church, and I don't know how, time, how long I'm taking a book to read. 
and I can assure somebody like Pastor Peter too. Because we are so busy. <laughs> we are so busy. I, I, I appreciate nobody like Pastor Yomi, which is an educa- educator. Most of my own knowledge, I get it from the, the Paul Life case, get that life messages. It is it. And there was a time I read when I was a new big uh, a new Christian. Then after I, I read a lot of books of our years, and I have a lot of his book. But at the time go on, a lot of things he said today. You know, even because the world is becoming open now, to be saying everything Pastor Yomi said today, especially from deeper level, is a taboo. Mm-hmm. Yes, so. And many of us don't know. What will ever sit you down? That this is this, this is this, this is this. And what do you want to ask? You get what I'm saying? I remember, ah, uh, there's a group A. Eh, please, maybe give me five minutes so that we can know a lot of things that is going on. And then I want you to know, as part of your message, immediately the bedroom is not sweet. There's no way the dining room will ever sweet. Oh, yes. There's no way. That's how God created it. Immediately, the be- as far as your husband and wife, Immediately, your bedroom is not sweet. There's no way the dining room will ever sweet. There's nothing. <laughs> and then in the in the Christendom, we we call it unsatisfied. I mean, all uh, sanctification because it's we talk all those kind of things. It's a taboo. And then you know, unbeliever taught me that whenever he saw, he see his husband that uh, that's in messing up in the home, you know what what she wants. Immediately she give it what she want to her. Uh, if if say ah my husband, please carry that water for me there. The man will run and bring it water. The same thing, woman. Then it, 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 it now comes to the uh, being stubbornness. A lot of things. A lot of things. But we call upon the name of the Lord. God, are you not going to revive us again? Mm. If mm. let's say we have done the mistake, we are not blaming you, oh Lord. We accept all the Oh Lord, we come before your throne of mercy this morning. But Father, we are praying all that this morning, that we can God, to remember mercy, Lord. Lord. We are Father, we are remember mercy, Lord. This is not how the marriage Father, go. We are born on behalf of other people. Father, we are born on behalf of ourselves. That Almighty Father, as many people that are going through this, I'm telling you, the way that God is going through this, the way that God is going through this, the way that God is going through this, be that what is good or especially in America, forget it. You will not turn away. We will be talking to many people before you go for eyes. They have their mouths. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, Father. Do not forget us, Lord. Do not forget our family. The name of Jesus. I will do my own and I will not forgive. And then there's no genuine forgiveness, there's no genuine repentance. If when you said my, my husband is what you have done for me, you have to say yes, okay, I'm very sorry. No genuine repentance. You will still repeat it. And we were that true. Then call upon the name of the Lord. Think of him. Treat his marriage. Treat his marriage is for love. It's not your will. Don't create the marriage for people to go to bed. Think of him. Treat his marriage. Oh Lord, let and your name I'm be glorified. Lord, In Jesus' Lord. name, we pray. Amen. Oh, oh, Amen. Uh, Peter, please hand up for us. Time has come. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Our Father and our God, we worship and bless your name for the gift of life, for the privilege to come together again to pray. I will thank you for your servants you have used this morning. Especially, Pastor Yomi, that you have used to really open our eyes, to really go in depth 
of what is happening in the homes. Oh Lord, we are praying that any home among us that is not actually a Christian home, Father, we pray that you visit such homes and turn them around, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. God, at the marriage in Cana of Galilee, uh, you gave a parable that the wine got finished and you turned water into wine. Father, if you can do that at that time, you can still do that today because you said till the end you'll be with us. Father, the end has not come. Oh Lord, you know, because we still live in a time of grace. Father, we are praying, oh Lord, that your grace will speak for every family today, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Every family that is experienced bitterness instead of sweetness, every family that their lovers jump out from the window and they are just enduring together, just staying together because we are Christian. What would people say if we are separated? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's just continue to stay. Let's continue to deceive the world that we are still together. But of the truth, they are not together. They don't do things in common. They don't even come close to themselves. Father, this morning we pray that you remember mercy for such families, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Even when these people have disobeyed you in the beginning, we said in your word, if the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? It's prayer the righteous we pray. Amen. Amen. The pastor said, if uh, you send 100,000 to your partner, it may be either side that things will just be happening. Yes, we know that every person has a love language, and some of us are yet to discover the love language of our partners. Father, we pray that you open our eyes to see the area of uh, uh, the, the, to see the love language of our partners, the way that language is uh, spoken, no matter the stolen heart, that person will, will, will be broken. Oh Lord, in now we pray that you open our eyes to see the love language of our partners, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Any family they are living from hand to mouth, nothing is happening. Like the uh, pastor, our brother talked about in the film, that nothing was happening in the church, yet he was a man of God. But finances were dried. Nothing was forthcoming. And the wife was nagging, wife was complaining. Or he has to fall and go to the other side. Oh Lord, go and we pray that you help your servants at this time, oh Lord, that will not go the way of Lazarus that was righteous and yet could not feed himself and yet could not house himself. Oh Lord, go and never somebody who could not house himself. Would he be able to marry and have a family? No. Oh Lord, go and we pray that you bless us, oh Lord, that we have enough to cater for ourselves to live a good life on this place before your kingdom, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, you promise in your words that you give us a life of heaven on earth. Oh Lord God, in heaven, we are not your witness that do not want to go to heaven because things are okay here for them. We know that no matter what life we live here, there is an eternal life waiting for us in glory. Oh Lord, we know we pray that you bless us, oh Lord, in a way that your blessings will speak volume in our lives and people will see it all around us, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The servants you have used this morning, Lord, into your hand. We pray that you will replenish them, O oh Lord, in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Commit the rest of this week, O oh Lord, into your hand. This is the first working day of the week. We pray you lead and guide us in all that we do, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for the peaceful election in Nigeria. Some people thought this election was going to bring war. This is going to happen. That is going to happen. And from the look of things, uh, the elections have, have been concluded, and there's no crisis anywhere. Oh Lord, we pray that to the end, oh Lord, you will help us to end this election where and give us the man after your own heart in Jesus' name. Amen. 
thank you for the answer prayer oh lord thank you lord. glory honor adoration thanks give be unto your name amen. in jesus name we pray amen amen amen, amen. let's share the grace <laughs> In the grace in the of our Lord, of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of God, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and join the other world forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Amen.